Now, there are a number of things that we want to solve next, and it doesn't really matter what order, but I find that the next thing to do is sort of the most fun. And so what we can do in order to help us solve our jiggly dance problem is to actually add some sound. Now, you may have noticed that there's a sound palette uh, here that's purple, and it comes with a default meow all ready to go. Yes, I find that highly annoying, as I'm sure many of you do. So how do I get a different sound? So I'm just going to pull this over here and put it down, because at some point I'm going to want to use that. So if I go to the sounds area, here's my meow. And if I hit the X right here, goodbye to the meow. Phew. OK, so I can record another sound if I have a microphone. I can open a sound from a file. But I'm just going to use the built-in sounds from the library. So I click on the speaker. And there's a number of different choices here. I've already tested out that I, I like the hand clap myself. So I can either double click on that or select it and then hit OK. And so there's our hand clap noise. So now if I go back to the scripts tab, instead of a meow, I would like it to play a hand clap. So every time it touches the red color, I'm going to get it to play that first and then turn 68 degrees. And this way it'll tell me how many times is it actually touching the fence uh, all at once. So so there was two, two again, maybe three. Okay, so it seems that two, oh, all right. So it seems that two is kind of the order of the day, except if, if it gets caught in corners and such. So I'd really like to get that down to one. So instead, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a bit of code right here. I'm going to play the sound. And then after I play the sound, I'm actually going to back up. So I'm going to grab this move 10 steps again. But instead of moving 10 steps forward, I want to move 10 steps backwards. So I'm going to choose negative number and type in negative 10. Now, hopefully you've learned about negative numbers. So that shouldn't be too scary for you. And I'm just going to insert that in before I do the turn. So I'm going to move backwards 10 steps and then turn and then carry on. Now let's let's have a look here and see if we've solved our problem. Okay. Well, it hasn't solved it it hasn't solved it for every situation, but it certainly seems to have solved it for most situations. Now, some of you have noticed that there's 10 steps, a negative 10. You can actually change that number to anything. I'm going to change it to 3 and then negative 3, just so that they match. Um, and that will just really slow it down. Okay, so that now you can really hear that there's two touches and two touches. Okay. Um, if you would like, you can change the degrees here. You can change it to maybe be 35 and see if it touches a whole number of times that way. So now it's definitely doing at least two touches. Uh, and you can also increase the steps to a bigger number. The problem is if you increase the steps too far, it'll just jump right over the fence because really this moving three steps is more like a teleport. So just keep that in mind if you're increasing the, num increasing the numbers too much that you might want to save your work before you do that because otherwise it might crash all of scratch if you put a really, really large number in there. So that just basically we've added some sound and we've made it back up all in one video.